this is our third time here to Rothbeck in uh, 2016. To me, it's been the greatest meeting of all of them. And it seems to get better every year. Um, the uh, hunger, the spiritual hunger of the people for the word of faith. The conference is, is about the word of faith and actually making the simplicity and the clarity of Romans chapter 10, 8 through 10, the word of faith and Mark 11, 23 on the authority of the believer, making that clear so that we can walk in the light of that authority. So the meeting is great, the attendance is great, people are so hungry they come and stay all day long. I like to say that Nigerian believers will ruin an American preacher because Nigerian believers are so much hungrier than in, in America because they come all day long to hear the word, they take notes, they receive the Holy Spirit. So amazing things are happening in Nigeria. It's almost like you need people from other countries uh, to come to Wafabek 2016 because of the spirit of faith and the move of the Holy Spirit that's here. So it's an amazing thing. Yes, I, I would, uh, things that I learned from Kenneth E. Hagen or from Dad Hagen was Mark chapter 5, verse 24 through 34, the one with the issue of blood, where Jesus actually told Dad Hagen four things that that woman did after she heard of Jesus. And number one, it says she said, in other words, her faith began to speak. And the second thing she did is she acted, she began to move. Third thing she did, she received the anointing. And the fourth thing she did is she told it. That means your declaration of your testimony of what Jesus has done and who he is. And every time you tell that testimony, it strengthens your faith. You notice that Jesus told the woman this your blood in Mark 5, 34. He said, daughter, your faith has made you whole, but he didn't stop. He said, go in peace and be whole of your plague. What he was saying is the same faith that made you whole will keep you whole. The same four steps that you took to receive your healing are the same four steps that will enable you to hold on to your healing or to hold fast to the victory. It's the important thing about Wafbeck and the Word of Faith Convention is we are focusing on the Word of God, not only receiving from God while you're at church, but walking by faith and that victory every day and holding fast to it and enjoying it, take the victory home to your business, to your job. And your declaration of telling the story of what Jesus has done for you and who you are in Him will strengthen your faith. If you want to be strong in faith, you must constantly be confessing that Jesus is Lord, who He is and what He's done for you. Hear the Smith Wigglesworth said, we always encourage believers, number one, to be full of faith, and number two, to be full of the Holy Spirit. So, full of faith means to be full of the Word. Number two is full of the Holy Spirit. Uh, the scripture says in Matthew chapter 12, the man who had the demons cast out of him, it said the demons came back and found the house, and the house was empty, swept, garnished, so it was beautiful, it was clean, but it was empty. And it says, and the devil came back in. So the devil will always bring a counterattack. So keep your house full of the word, full of faith, full of the Holy Spirit, full of prayer, and you'll enjoy this victory all year long. Hear the